Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf, and I'm back again, baby, with another epic Ross toy hunt adventure because I'm on the hunt for some new toys, guys. I'm looking for the Universal Monsters, Dracula, Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein, Creature from the Black Lagoon, the Wolfman, the Invisible Man. I'm looking for it all. I'm looking for it all. Did I say Dracula? I'm looking for Dracula, too. So anyway, um, on the hunt at Ross, still looking for G.I. Joes as well, still hunting the, the Viper 3-pack. Look, I was looking for Duke on the motorcycle, but my friend Leonard actually picked him up at a toy show. Didn't get him at Ross, found him in a toy show for $12, which was the same price they're charging at Ross, so he picked it up for me. And um, also, I've heard that Copperhead, Shipwreck, Rakondo, these Joes are starting to hit shelves, so I'm on the hunt for those too. I've got a great, fun, exciting adventure for you today. So hang tight, guys. We're about to go on a ride. Check it out. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Well, I don't really... This is all like this type of stuff, you know? Let's go check the shelves back here. Oh, oh my, oh, nice. Tiger Force Rakondo. Oh, and Shipwreck. Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. All right, so we gotta get these two Joes. What else do they got? Oh, look at this. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Nice. They have the Frankenstein. So I need the Frankenstein, the Dracula, and the Bride of Frankenstein. Okay. All right, so we'll definitely pick him up. What are they asking for him? Is there a price? Oh, nine bucks. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's a little more than $5.99, but I'm going to go ahead and grab them anyway. Oh, look, and there's a Tiny Toons. Or Toonie Terror. I'm sorry, not Tiny Toons. Toonie Terror's Elvira. Oh, man, $11.99. I do love Elvira though. All right, I think I'll probably get this too. Let's see, is there any Frankenstein or Dracula? Any Bride of Frankenstein? Hmm. Oh, that's fun. Oh, here's the Alf. My buddy Andy from over at the Celebrity Car Museum just picked him up. Well, I don't think I'm seeing any of the Universal Monsters, but we can definitely hit up a few more Rosses and see if we can find something. So we had a little luck right out the gate. Found Shipwreck, Rakondo, can scratch those guys off the list. Got the creature from the Black Lagoon. I ended up passing on the Elvira. Just didn't want to pay $12 for her, you know? So, but anyway, I got some stuff. Let's do a little show and tell. All right, check these guys out. How cool, man. Oh, I freaking love it. We've got Rakondo. He comes with his backpack, his hat. He's got a handgun, a big bushwhacking knife. He's got his gun, and we got Shipwreck over here with Polly. He comes with a rope and this, like, anchor. And then he also has a handgun as well. And then he's got uh, kind of like a pirate gun. Let's see if I can turn him around here without knocking him over. He's got like this pirate gun that he comes with as well. An old muzzle loader. And then of course we've got the creature from the Black Lagoon. He's got his spear gun. It looks like a fishing net. And then he's got this head you can swap out with these different hands and whatnot. Shipwreck also comes with just this head of hair. That is one thing about him is that this, whoops, that piece comes off really, really easy. It's, uh, it's actually not on there very good at all. So definitely something that like is meant to be displayed and not really played with, you know? So, but, how cool is this haul, man? This is right out, like I said, right out the gate. Right out the gate, we scored some stuff from Ross. It's awesome. Now that we got a few scores under our belt, it's time to go hit up a goodie wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the goodie wheel, baby. What you got for me today, goodie wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys to add to this awesome Ross haul I just picked up. 
Let's see what they got. All right, let's see. What do we got? Got a Batman with a Batmobile. I'll check out this Batman. Well, he's kind of cool. He's different. Never seen one like that. Definitely pay. What do they want for him? A buck ninety-nine. Sweet. And these are some sort of transformers. Oh yeah, maybe like rescue bots. And then we got Captain America. And what's this? Oh, Thanos. Cowboys and Indians set. Hmm. I wonder if that's an older or newer set. It looks kind of new. What's this? The Legend of Zelda. Oh, you can make a shield out of these beads. Well, we found us some vintage toys. He's from 1997, made by Kenner. And uh, I think he's pretty freaking cool. I think he's real cool. So I'm gonna pick him up. Got a big old Power Rangers Zord over here. Oh, we got a Buzz Lightyear ship. Ah, oh, you know what? I think my friend Travis needs this. I'm gonna pick that up for him. I think he was just talking about this. Oh, what's this guy here? Oh, it's got Finn from Finn and Jake in it. And then looks like some Treasure X stuff, maybe. Spider-Man. Like a Supergirl, maybe. A couple of apes. Where's they want for that bag? $4.99 for the bag. Which I don't think is a bad price, right? Hmm. What do we got here? Yeah, the Witcher. We saw him the other day. And looks like we've got some doubles here of these hockey players. So I ended up scoring the Kenner Batman. Uh, you guys pretty much kind of saw what he was there in the video. So I don't feel like I need to really do like a full on show and tell with him. So, but I did pick him up. So he, I will be adding him to the Batman collection. So this is a lot of my Batman collection back here. But anyway, I think it's time to go hit up old Thrifty Pants, Thrift Giant, and see if we can score some goodies over there. All right, let's see. What do they got here today? They just had a sale a few days ago, so I'm not expecting a whole lot. But maybe we can find something. Check out this dollhouse. <laughs> you know me and dollhouses. I do love a good dollhouse. I don't know what it is about them. I think I know what it is. I think I've said this before. <laughs> It's just that I like my figures to have a place to live. That's all. I just want my, my figures to have a home. All right, what else do we got over here? Now look at this guy. Whoa, check this thing out. Looks like a Sky Striker. That is cool, man. Oh man, that is freaking awesome. What do they want for that? Seven bucks. If it actually fit Joe's, I would probably grab it, but it doesn't look like it does. Oh, this is the remote control. I had this, well, not this exact one, but I had one very similar to this a couple of years ago. It's actually from 1990, but do you see the wire? The wire is cut off. That's cool though. Got a lightsaber too. So the jet fighter was pretty cool. I actually owned one that was very similar to that one in the past. Like I said earlier, I owned it, ended up selling it at my yard sale. Mine actually had the remote control that came with it. There's actually a long cord. So it has a remote control, but it only has like maybe 10 feet of cord that you can, you know, use. So it's not like 
it's not like a, a cordless remote control. Go figure. <laughs> Uh, one with a cord is unlike one without a cord. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, right? But anyway, I think it's time to head back to Ross and see if maybe we can find some more of these universal monsters. All right, Ross, let's see if you got some universal monsters here. I also heard from my buddy Clutch that Copperhead has been making an appearance and was spotted in a Texas Ross. So that's kind of exciting. So maybe we can find a copperhead too. But right now, I just want to get more of those universal monsters. In fact, they're... Well, this is a good sign. We got some Toonie Terrors. I mean, they got some new stuff here. So maybe those monsters will be here. But I was at a Ross in Frisco, Texas last night. And there was a Frankenstein there. And I was going to buy them, but there was like... I don't know, a dozen or more people in line in front of me and they only had one cashier working. So I hit him. So if anything, we can always stop knocking stuff over. We can always stop back there if we don't happen to find a Frankenstein here or somewhere else. But, oh, look at this. We got Leatherface over here too. That's cool. Man, I wish these things weren't $11.99. Because, like, you know, they're 15 bucks at Target, so it's not like you're getting much of a discount. They're still cool, though. Oh, look at these Dungeons & Dragons. How much are they asking for these? $4.99. This is from the movie. Kind of cool. Hmm. But not as cool as the animated series figures. Those figures, are, those animated series figures are just awesome. I'll think about these. Oh, I think I see a Frankie. Oh no, it's not Frankenstein, it's the bride. Well, I didn't see her over at the other Ross. All right, so let me grab her. Are there any more in here? I saw this Frankenstein, I was like, oh, there's a Frankenstein here. Some Mandalorians. There's a Crocmaster. How about over here? Still looking out for Masters of the Universe stuff as well. In fact, my buddy Clutch said that he wanted a He-Man if I found it. So I'll keep an eye out here. Zaymot! <laughs> oh, there's a Rakondo. That's cool. I'll check out this guy. Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat. Look, we got a couple of Zaymots. All that time I found, what's this right here? Star Wars. Some sort of ape, maybe? Is it open? <laughs> yeah, it opens. Oh yeah, check him out. It's like a Chewbacca. Like a really gnarly looking one. Is this Tomax or Zaymot? Zaymot, oh wow. All kinds of Zaymot here now. And no Tomax, that's funny. Before it was all Tomax and no Zaymot. Okay, what else? I mean, sometimes you just gotta move stuff out of the way and look because it could be buried back there somewhere. Oh yeah, there's a shelf over here too. Seems a bit much. $16.99 for that. It says it was originally $30. That's even crazier. Oh, here's another Mortal Call. He's cool. Night Wolf. What are they asking for these? Four not five bucks. That's a good price. Now what's down here? Power Rangers. Got more universal Bride of Frankenstein over here. I don't see any other universal monsters though. What's this back here? Oh, nothing. 
junk. Oh, wow, look at that slash Funko Pop. I'm not a big Funko Pop person. Actually, I don't really care for Funko Pops at all. I mean, they're all right, but... You know, not something I collect normally, but this is a cool one. I like his cigarette. Oh wow, check that out. Five ninety nine for Stridor. Wow. Buzzworthy Bumblebee. You saw that figure. All right. Well, I think this is gonna be it for this Ross. Oh wow, look, they just brought out a whole cart. Are there any Universal Monsters in there? Mm, I don't see any. Sweet, another Universal Monster down. That makes two for the collection but we still got a lot more to find. So I'm gonna hold off on doing a show and tell because we might just maybe find some more Universal Monsters in this episode. Off to another Ross. All right, here we are. Let's see. We got her again. Hmm. Maybe we'll get lucky here on the back shelf. Lots of D&D. &D. Well, not seeing anything here at first glance. I think it's the first time I've seen that figure. $4.99. Seems like a good price. Oh, there's the Frankenstein. Sweet. Now, do they have a Dracula? No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Just being clumsy. <laughs> Okay, so we've got Bride of Frankenstein, we've got Frankenstein, we've got the creature from the Black Lagoon. I still need the Dracula, Invisible Man, and the Wolfman. Now, the Wolfman hasn't really been spotted. I haven't seen anybody spot him, but I have seen people spot the Invisible Man. So I don't even know if the Wolfman is really out there. But I did manage to grab a few more Universal Monsters, so let's do a little show and tell. Wow, these guys look so good. I'm actually happy that I decided to pay up a little bit for these figures. You know, I was kind of hoping to get them at $5.99, $8.99. Seemed a little on the high side, but they look fantastic. The only complaint I have is the face sculpt on that Frankenstein. I mean, what is up with that shit-eating grin? I mean, like, why didn't they give him a mouth that was, like, open and, like, screaming or yelling or moaning or something, you know, you know, that sort of thing. I mean, this, this sculpt here is okay, but they really missed the mark. I mean, it, it looks like he's, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. It looks like he's up to something, you know? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, um, but yeah, I think the face sculpt on the Bride of Frankenstein is pretty awesome. Here was the one that she came with in the box. So I swapped the heads out because I really like that look. I just wish they would have done something with Frankie like that. But together, these three look absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see what they look like when I got them all together. Well, gang, the hunt ain't over yet. We still have to find the Invisible Man. 
we've got to find the Wolfman and Dracula. Those are the three that I'm going to continue to hunt for. So stay tuned for the next video because I will be hunting for those. In the meantime, if you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you want to watch more videos just like this, check out this next video.